The level of output is one of the most important indicators of the economic well-being of a nation. In this section, we use a model, the ISL model, to explain how the level of output is determined. In our discussion of the goods market and the financial market, you'll see that demand drives the level of output. We're going to have a look at the impact of fiscal policy and monetary policy and see how it affects the level of demand and therefore the output level in the economy. Once you've done this section, you must be able to show and explain the derivation and shifts of the ice curve, the derivation and shifts of the alum curve, the impact of fiscal policy, the impact of monetary policy, and lastly, the use of policy mix. When you go through this section, you'll see we follow a step-by-step -step approach. We start with the IS curve, the goods market, then we move over to the financial market, the LM curve. We bring the two together to determine the level of output. Then we discuss fiscal policy and the impact thereof on the level of output, and then monetary policy and how it affects the level of output. And then we discuss policy mix. It is important that you achieve the outcomes of each subsection. For example, we start with the goods market, the ice curve. Make sure that you have achieved the outcomes of that subsection before you go on to the alum curve, the financial sector. Once you're satisfied you've achieved those outcomes, then you go on to the ISL model. Good luck.